So let's talk about how we fetch data from the database using PDO in PHP with MySQL. This is the get albums SQL function. It's very simple. All it does is it executes a query and it returns a handle to that query statement, the statement handle. The query is simple. Select star from album order by title and that gets prepared and executed. And what gets returned is called a statement handle. This statement handle represents the data, but it doesn't actually contain the data. With a statement like this, select star from, you could end up with a lot of data, depending on how many albums are in the database or how many tracks are in the database. If we were doing this with the tracks, you could easily fill up memory in the server, and you don't want to do that. Instead, what you want to do is you want to be able to execute that query and then take the results one by one. And so that's what this does. This returns a statement handle, which represents a pointer into those result sets. And then way up here, where this gets called under list albums, the first thing it does is it calls that get albums SQL and it takes that statement handle and it starts fetching rows. It fetches the first row separately and it fetches it using this fetch associative flag so that the row variable is an associative array where each of the column names are key names in the associative array. So now you know the names of the columns. And then down here in this block of code, we actually loop through grabbing the result rows one at a time and building them onto the screen using this album result row function, which actually builds the HTML to put it up on the screen. So this is the efficient way to do this, and it's the safe way to do this, where you execute the query once and that sets up the interface to start returning result rows, and then you grab the result rows one at a time out of the database rather than collecting them all in memory and potentially having a problem with crashing the program. So this is how you fetch results from a database using PDO and PHP in MySQL.